Hello there. A warm welcome to the program. I am Olayemi Ujinuga, and this is Tech Trends. This week, five animators represent Nigeria at the 2024 edition of the ANSI International Animation Film Festival. Also, Dr. Alkali Mohammed, head of satellite infrastructure company, a subsidiary of Nikomsat Limited, will be speaking on the company's effort to provide the country with reliable internet services. As always, this is a program that takes you on a ride in 25 minutes to seek out innovation and creativity that are unique to Africa. A lot of the game of AI today is finding the appropriate business context to fit it in. I love technology. It opens up lots of opportunities. But in the end, technology needs to be contextualized and fit into a business use case. Massive booth at the animation festival. After a four-day workshop of honing their craft and perfecting the pitches with the guidance of industry experts, these five animators have been selected to represent Nigeria at the 2024 edition of the NC International Animation Film Festival in France. Operation and cultural affairs. But while on the road to MIFA pitch session, the chosen five from over 20 applicants first present their animated content for a screening and pitch their project to other animators, producers and professionals in the animation industry. When we mention Nigeria and cinema, both of them we think Nollywood. And Nollywood genre is bustling industry, it's successful movies, both on the continent but also all, all over the world. And I would like to point out that Nigeria is also a land of animation with an ecosystem full of potential and potential people. The country is home to numerous creative and independent studios that create wonderful projects every year. We can't count all of them. We are very proud, very, very proud to offer Nigerian animation professionals training, which I hope you will find useful in your search for developing and funding projects. No! I'm still fixing that. You will need. Throughout the week, these creative minds participated in intensive coaching and mentoring sessions where they learned to shape the stories, refine the pitch decks, and deliver compelling pitches. Or are you trying to ease your unending desire to become king amongst gods? So, The News of Alki Bulan is an animated 3D series, semi real. Um, it's fantasy, it's adventure, it's drama. With a mix of enthusiasm and nerves, the animators give a glimpse of their talent. Each project representing hours of dedication, creativity and passion. He has the burning desire for adventure as he feels there is a much bigger world beyond his little island. We're not used to making animated shows in Nigeria, so first of all, People, some people don't even know we make animated shows in Nigeria. So um, that is already a first issue. When you say, okay, we are creating something, sometimes people will believe that you can't make it, right? which is why we have opportunities like this, where we show people what we can actually do. Also, power is a major issue um, because we work heavy on computers and when there's no light. <laughs> so um, yeah, um, funding, also another issue, but hopefully the more... The more um, the animation society comes out, the more those problems would be solved. Um, the power only is in God's hands. <laughs> it's still coming up, but I can tell you we're not where we started. We've made a lot of progress over the years. We have more studios now, more people working for international clients and also developing their IPs and getting to a particular level where we can start chunking out volume for content. 
So yes, we've grown over the years and it can only get better henceforth. Most of uh, animators, we're all self-taught. You know, we all started from somewhere. Some of us were trained in academies. Some of us, we have many ways of, you know, getting this skill up. And it's it's really, but you know, when there's a will, there's a way, you know, everybody has a way of doing theirs. I, for one, I'm one of the, those that were self-taught. You know, I, I taught myself and I got to work with people and all of a sudden, you know, skills grow up. But it just, you know, that's just how, you know, the Nigerian uh, attitude is. We don't, we don't say no. We're always very very no matter how anyhow anyhow we are going to get it done you know last last will be all right that's how we are that's the spirit and so that spirit has permitted every aspect of our lives so with animation it's not even strange you know, so. the pitch session facilitated by the french embassy and animation nigeria encourages an environment of growth and collaboration empowering these animators to bring their unique stories to the world stage. They are incredible storytellers, but sometimes, you know, there is a lack of, um, you know, skills of how to pitch a project, or how to uh, attract, um, you know, how, what, what is the key, you know, what is the, 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 how can we attract some international stakeholder? You know, you have only seven minutes to pitch your project. You have to be very efficient. And, you know, it's, it's, not, uh, so it's not something that you have in your in your body you know you have to be coach you have to be mentor so the, the goal of uh, this uh, training session is of course to you know make some co-production with international stakeholders french european uh, so that the project uh, can uh, be produced because you know uh, it's not easy to produce animation content in Le in, uh, in nigeria now so that's why they need visibility they need to get they need to attend international market to you know, uh, get some international stakeholders. They already had good ideas, good concepts, so they just needed to be guided in the right direction to polish it and bring it to what we saw today. Animation is expensive. It's expensive to make, and even our films, Nollywood, if you notice, you can't compare the budgets of Nigerian films with films abroad. And animation is very expensive to make. A one minute of animation can cost <laughs> hundreds of millions even depending on the quality and stuff like that so that's the reason and i think it's just something that we uh, a lot of producers in nigeria haven't realized the potential returns they can make from anim animation the nc international animation film festival is the biggest festival for animation in the world and it takes place in the city of nc in france every year it is a platform where the finest talents in animation showcase the best original animation film project in development. The five film producers selected, along with a delegation from Nigeria, will be sponsored by the French Embassy to the festival this year. <laughs> Tech Tips How to shift your WhatsApp charts, images and videos from old to new number without losing data. WhatsApp makes it easy to transfer your chart history, images and videos to a new number without losing data. Here's a simple step-by-step -step guide to change your WhatsApp number and inform your contacts or create a local backup if changing both phone and SIM card. To change phone number on WhatsApp, step 1. Open WhatsApp on your old phone. Step 2. Navigate to Settings. On Android devices, tap the three vertical dots on the top right corner. For iPhone users, Settings is located at the bottom right corner. Step 3. Tap Account and then Change Number. Step 4. Review the information on the screen. It essentially confirms that changing your number will migrate your account details, charts and settings. Tap next and enter both your old and new phone numbers. Double check for accuracy. Choose how you want to notify your contacts. WhatsApp offers three options. All contacts, everyone in your address book will be informed. Contacts you have chats with, this means only those you've exchanged messages with will be notified. Or custom, you can manually select specific contacts you want to be informed. Tap done to initiate the transfer process. 
Before starting the process, do note that this inbuilt feature works best if you keep the same phone. If you're switching phones entirely, you will need to create a local backup on your old phone and here's how to do that. Open WhatsApp and navigate to Settings. Tap on Chats and then select Chat Backup. Choose the frequency of backups. You can opt for daily, weekly or manual backups. Decide whether to include videos in the backup. Tap Backup to start the process. Your chats will be saved to your phone's storage. To the basics, did you know the first computer programmer was a woman? Augusta Ada King, Countess of Lovelace, was an English mathematician and writer, considered the world's first computer programmer. In the mid-19th century, she worked with Charles Baggage on his early mechanical computer, the analytical engine, and wrote the first algorithm intended for a machine. When Ada was 18, her mathematical talents led to a long working relationship and friendship with Charles Baggage, known as the father of computers. The first met on June 5, 1833, at one of Baggage's gatherings, where they were introduced by Ada's tutor, Mary Somerville. Between 1842 and 1843, Ada translated an article by engineer Luigi Menabrea about the analytical engine. She added extensive notes including what is considered the first computer program, an algorithm for the machine. Some historians however believe Baggage's earlier notes contained the first programs. Ada envisioned computers as more than just number crunchers, seeing their potential to aid in various tasks. This forward-thinking view is reflected in her poetical science approach, exploring how technology interacts with society. The programming language Ada is named in her honor. do you really know about the tech world? Put your knowledge to the test with these trivia questions. What inventor first used the term horsepower? James Watt, Nikola Tesla, Thomas Edison, George Stevenson. The answer is James Watt. In what year was the first plane invented? 1901, 1905, 1910, 1903. You got it, the answer is 1903. What computer and printer company, sometimes better known by its two-letter acronym, was founded in Palo Alto in 1939? International Business Machines, IBM, Hewlett Packard, Apple Inc., Dell Inc. Hewlett Packard is the answer. And finally, what was the first home gaming console called? Atari 2600, Nintendo Entertainment System, the Magnavox Odyssey, Coleco Vision. The answer is the Magnavox Odyssey. Nigeria's Communication Satellites Limited, NICOMSET, is spearheading a transformative initiative to strengthen the nation's connectivity landscape. 
With a strategic focus on providing reliable internet services, they aim to play a pivotal role in achieving Nigeria's broadband penetration goals by leveraging cutting-edge satellite technology. On Tech Trends this week, I chat with Dr. Akali Mohammed, the head of satellite infrastructure company, which is a subsidiary of Nikomset Limited. Recently, there had been change of uh, leadership at Night Consult. We have uh, engineer Jane Egerton. Idehen. She's uh, she has over two decades of experience in this sector, both in engineering and uh, marketing. And uh, so, when she came, what she came up with is how do we rejig the system from uh, where we are? And one of the first things she started is we should uh, increase our operation, the, the level of efficiency and effectiveness. And of course, there have been a lot of effort in terms of overhauling of our equipment and uh, uh, a lot of effort in terms of upgrading of the, our infrastructures to meet what is, uh, in, what is in the trend state-of-art equipment and a lot of processes so this is what is really going on and most of them are short-term uh, medium and long-term and this is how it is done in the industry so a lot of efforts are on in that regards now considering the prevalence of foreign satellites in the nigerian market how are you planning to compete and secure your share in the comsat market with a loan satellite I'm going to look at it in this way. There are two things here, uh, the competition and the low satellite. For us in this business, we don't go into competitions. What we do is strategic alliance. And, and again, Night Concert is really faring well. Now, if you look at the enterprises and the businesses that are in existence right now, it's cheaper for you to patronize Nash Concert because you are, you are getting your invoice in Naira, you are paying in Naira as against the foreign, um, the foreign asset where you, and of course we are talking about Forex, that's on one hand. Then if the issue of loan satellite, there have been a lot of uh, misrepresentation. Loan satellite in this business, we have different kind of model. Yes, Nightcomsat 1R is the satellite that is owned by Nigeria and owned by Nightcomsat and managed by Nightcomsat. But practically and technically, we have, we are into backup alliance with Bell Intersat, backup alliance with Amos 17. Now, if you look at it practically and technically, it means we are having capacity, space capacity in three different satellites. So the issue of loan satellite is not even arising. And of course, there is plan for the launch of uh, uh, Night Concert 2 by hopefully by 2026. So by 2026, uh, we may be talking about four or more satellites based on what ca kind of uh, arrangement that is on ground and uh, so we are not <laughs> operating a lone satellite. Dr. Mohammed, the Federal Ministry of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy emphasizes four pillars, knowledge, policy, infrastructure and trade. Where does NICOMSAT come in to contribute significantly to these uh, pillars? NICOMSAT is a hub for digital knowledge. We've been involved in a lot of activities from uh, last year, over 600 Nigerians across the six geopolitical zones were trained in skills that has to do with uh, um, VSAT installation, TVRO uh, installations. So we have those experts on ground. And of course, there's a plan there's plan to expand that. And again, Night Concert is a center for molding innovations from uh, 
uh, graduate interns and uh, undergraduate interns. I mean, core members and uh, NYC and uh, IT. Also, we have a scheme called MELT, Mentorship um, Empowerment Leadership Training, where we organize hackathon for people with different, with great ideas in terms of uh, capacity development for uh, hardware, software. And uh, so these chunks revolve around the whole five pillars with the infrastructure, of course, which is there, the enabling policy to help us to churn out the remaining other four pillars. That is that. Now let's talk about the digital switch over. Given the challenges faced in achieving you know, its deadline, how can NICOMSET 1R play a role in assisting the government in the process of digital switchover, particularly considering its significance in the broader national context? Uh, that, that's a very good question. Uh, you see, the DSO, the digital switchover you asked of, is um, ITU-based uh, initiative where uh, technically you have uh, is, the whole essence is optimization of uh, frequency. The analog system where about 16 megahertz is used for transmitting a channel. But with the digital transmission, you can use about 16 megahertz for about 14 channels. In that way, you have about 400% uh, bandwidth efficiency. Now, the whole process, National Council was not involved from the beginning. You know, the, the mindset, earlier on I was talking about uh, the, the assumption that National Council operates on a lone satellite. That's was the reason that was given to us on why initially we're not used to participate in uh, the DSO. Of course, now uh, we are involved with uh, sometime around last year, the chairman of broadcasting organization of Nigeria that happens to be the divisionary president of channel. They came in and they felt, ah, that thing you're looking for in Sokoto, you have it in your Sokoto. And uh, why don't you utilize Nightcomsa, which is Nigerian owned, and uh, the costs of implementing the DSO is quite cheaper. Because what you're, what you're looking for, the space segment and the platform for you to aggregate all these channels are, is there somewhere around Ligbe here in Abuja. And uh, aside the, 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 the this broadcasting needs to unserved areas, these are the points where uh, night concert is coming. So for us, we are there. If, if we had been involved right from the beginning, uh, Nigeria would have met the, the deadline, you know, so, we are involved and uh, Nigerian thing, Nigerian effort with Nigerian capacity, with Nigerian capability. They are all domiciled here. And uh, so we are fully involved for that. All right. Thank yeah. you so much, Dr. Akali yeah. Mohammed, Head Satellite much. Infrastructure thank Company. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for shedding light on what's going on at Nikon Set, especially when it comes to providing reliable yeah, internet services. And that's our show this week. If you missed any part of it, you can always catch up on the channel's TV to accounts where we have all of our episodes. And I encourage you to watch, share, and like your favorite editions. Also, do not forget Tech Trends is here to share insights, trends, and developments happening in the tech space. Until I come your way again next week, I'm Olayemi Udunuga. Bye for now.